Welcome to Keep It Simple Screen Printer. Today we're going to go over Trick Your Printer. Uh, we want to print a dense film positive using a generic regular inkjet printer with standard inks. Um, first we want to do is make sure that we, our image is black. Uh, here, and we can go to our file, print. And we will go into our setup, go to Preferences, go to our main tab. Now we're using Epson 1430, but this will work also with a Canon printer, um, uh, HP, etc. You're all going to have similar features. On the main tab, it's going to give you the option, and you're going to want to select Best Photo. By selecting whatever the best photo, or if it has DPI, you're going to select 600 by 1200, 1200 by 1200. We want to put as much information down as possible because we're wanting to make as dense of a film positive as possible. So we're going to select best photo. So there, on paper, we're going to select, there's going to be some combination of a premium, ultra, and glossy. Ultra, and this one happens to be ultra premium photo paper glossy. This is going to put down a lot of ink. Once again, we want to put down a lot of ink because we're wanting to get as dense of a film possible as possible. On the advanced tab, we'll come on over here to the advanced tab, you'll see that we still have our ultra premium glossy photo bases selected here. DPI is max. On here, as you said, if your printer allows you to select it, you're going to select 1200, 1200, 2400, 1200, whatever is going to be the highest resolution. The high speed option is checked. We want to uncheck high speed because we, we want to interlace information. We want to put two rows of data versus only putting one row. Once again, that's going to put down more ink, giving us as dense of a film possible as possible. Now we laid out our artwork in black, and we can now come down here and check black gray scale. Now it is still going to print some cyan, magenta, and yellow, but it won't print as much as if you leave it on straight color on there. Because the reason being is when you add a lot of black and magenta you know, a lot of cyan, magenta, and yellow to black, you get a rich black or a velvet black, which is a pretty black, but it's not a dense black. We're all we're looking to get is density, density, density. We want a film positive that will stop UV light on here. So coming back over, we go back to the main. We selected best photo. We selected our ultra premium glossy photo base, put down as much ink. We can come back here. We turn high speed off, and we are printing on black gray scale. And we will tell it and tell it OK. And we will click print. And we'll run a film positive here through the Epson printer. As you can see, we're using a, di a Ditto inkjet film feeding system. This allows us to hold up to eight sheets of film at a time without having to load each, sh each sheet of film independently. It's a huge time saver. We do film output service. Um, on that, we can set up eight different jobs to print, walk away, come back in 30 minutes, pick our film positives. No one has to sit here and maybe sit the printer.
And we're printing this on our high definition waterproof film. It's professional grade film. We do images up to 65 and 75 LPI simulated process with no problem. With those type of software, we do, do, we do use the AccuRip though. And voila, we have a beautiful, usable film positive. Thanks for watching.